Hi everyone. Um, before I start, I just want to let you know that from your whole syllabus, I will be taking only chapter 18, which is trigonometry. And um, I know that it might be your first time studying about this, so I just want to go in detail um, about uh, what trigonometry means and what we're trying to learn from here, okay? Now, when we talk about trigonom trigonometry, it's about um, obviously a right angle triangle. Now, we know that a triangle has three sides and three angles, right? Triangle ring ring here on side, but whom lay angle, but whom any can share trigonometry to a tuan kang side, but whom lay angle, but whom te an in relate dan an in zoom dan ka can zero don any okay. In trigonometry, we are going to study how the three sides of a triangle and the three angles are related to each other. All right, now. I don't think I need to explain what a right angle triangle means. Uh, it is a triangle which has a right angle as one of its angles, right? We know that there are three um, angles in a triangle. So if if one of them, any one of them is 90 degree or how we call it a right angle, then that triangle itself is a right angle triangle or a right triangle. It's the same thing, all right? Now, um, I've written down over here some triangles. This is a right angle triangle because you can see that there is a 90 degree over here in angle B. Similarly in this triangle as well, these two, this, these two um, triangles are similar. Over here as well, this is 90 degree, hence this is a right triangle. Over here as well, this is 90 degree, hence this is also a right triangle. Alright? Now, so these three sides and these three angles are related to each other in a ratio, okay? And there are six ratios. Now, if you take a look at your textbook over here, you can see that it's written trigonometric T-ratios, okay? Now, T-ratio is a short form of trigonometric ratios. Oh, so on overall, we have six ratios, which are sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent, okay? Now, if you, again, if you take a look at your textbook over here, you will see that um, it's written sine, S-I-N-E, sine, cosine, co uh, tangent, cosecant, secant, cotangent. However, we're not going to study it this way. We're going to study only the short version of it. Sine will be sine. Cosine will be cos, tangent will be tan, cosecant will be cosec, secant will be sec, and cotangent will be cot, okay? Now, again, in your textbook, we will, we will use this as an example, okay? In your textbook, in figure 18.6, this is a right angle triangle, okay? Right angle that B, okay? And there are three sides in a right angle triangle, okay? They have names, all right. Now, in your textbook, it's written as hypotenuse, side adjacent to angle A and side opposite to angle A. We are not going to study it this way. We will be studying it using other names which are perpendicular, hypotenuse, and base, okay? Now, any perpendicular, any hypotenuse, any base, they can shut down. So, first of all, hypotenuse, they can shut down, okay? Hypotenuse, there are two definitions for it. The first one is, the first one is, hypotenuse will be opposite to the angle which is 90 degree. Mm. Hypotenuse ring ring to 90 degree opposite and is yell on ni. And it's one he 90 degree opposite to he he ni a. He side he hypotenuse ni a. Tapo hemi opposite to he he ni a. He he hypotenuse ni boka. He ta 90 degree opposite set to he he ni lea. He si he hypotenuse ni le. Maya. He ta hemi triangle apo hian. B opposite to hypotenuse ni a. Opposite to. Uh, hypotenuse ni a, so an hey hypotenuse kan tili may nga. Oh, for short, H. Alright? So let me um write that down. Opposite to B will be H, hypotenuse. Again, opposite to B is another hypotenuse. Hey, we triangle tan po hey hi niya. Hey, we tan po hey hi. Alright? Another definition of hypotenuse is it will be the longest side. Mm. 
han en wang wang ula heng triangle ka pek ho zinga hian enge saber kan ti chon a hypotenuse bok hi ni hepo saber hepo saber a hepo saber ni okay there's a reason why it's the longest side but i'm not going to go into depth with that one next perpendicular le base kan ne ta ni first of all enge perpendicular om zia hi how do we say how do we know when two lines are perpendicular to each other now we say two lines let these be two lines we say these two lines are perpendicular to each other if they intersect at right angles okay and in zoom na la he tla ta ki 90 degree he put 90 he put 90 he line pa ni he mi he mi line a ni ta se he line b ni ta se he a le b an in to na chia hian 90 degree a in sian chuan he line pa ni te hi an perpendicular ve ve ni kan ti china ni a enter nan ti kher lo po hian he hi a lo ni ta se he hi line b lo ni ta se o an in to na la kha 90 ni tho chuan tlang lo ma se he mi te pa ni hi perpendicular kan ti tho chu tiang che chuan he ti zong po hian lo om se hi line pa khat he line pa khat ni se an in to na 90 ni chung chuan um perpendicular ni tho ti te po hian om the he mi hi line pa khat he hi line pa khat an in to na han angle pa ni se ma 90 ve ve ni a chu wang chuan they are perpendicular to each other okay now in uh in this chapter base le perpendicular and it's one and n wang wang ula ta hian a b le b c te hi perpendicular they are both perpendicular to each other over here a b b c they are both perpendicular to each other the reason is when they intersect they form a 90 degree angle okay heta po a b le b c hi perpendicular hemi te pani perpendicular ni ma se in chapter b ka chon h kan nei to a pa kha jok hi b ani pa kha jok hi perpendicular ni chon pa kha jok base khatyang zel khan ani vek don ni heng triangle pa thuma heng triangle kan on ja ho wai hian oh now ang tin nge base kan sha tanga eng khang nge perpendicular jok ti kan sha tang kan ti chon in question a reng reng khan a angle hin ron pe don che uni chu anterior nan angle a an ron pe mai thei che wa tun in textbook example a khan a a hian angle an ron da a a chang chon ti hian theta te pon ron jiak mai thei kha kha chu a bu a zira nya theta om mo an theta an da mo da lo mo angle kha a a om ti sha top tur a he mi eng mo jok jok hin mu to chon now hemi angle le hemi 90 degree nei tu pa ni side chu ab hi ni maya tro bc chu 90 degree nei ma se hemi angle ha ain jiak ve lo ni chu question a chu wang chon he angle pa ni nei tu hi base chu ni le mai do you understand the side which has two angles the the first angle will always be 90 degree the other angle will be given in the question okay in your textbook on page 262 it's written it's written like this on page 263 in the triangle that they've given the angle is over here in c okay and for example in some of the questions let's say a okay let's say for example over here c mm. then we are going to find out which one is base now i've already told you this a b has this angle and this angle hence this side will be base and base ni lo hou zong ha perpendicular to ni zel mai okay over here base ni lo opposite side ka perpendicular to ni zel mai katina sorry over here ab a hian abc a hian c a angle om ta ka wangin angle pa ni nei two side chu ab ni to lovin hemi tlar hi ni ta ni chu chu wang chon hei zok hi base lo nia nga ani lo pakhat ka perpendicular ni le mai oh heta hian theta or my even though theta is given there there's no um no confusion over here uh theta is given over here uh angle i theta only omlo hi ang reng kati to kha oh hey le he mi nei tu hi base tu ni maya a omlo zong ka perpendicular oh heta po he mi angle le he mi angle nei tu nei kop tu chu base ni a ani lo zong kha perpendicular ni le mai okay now just for this purpose we will be using only the first triangle the rest just forget it okay now um i've written a phrase over here it's kind of uh it's like an inside joke but it's i you uh fi find this very helpful to um learn by heart these formulas okay because so ito ang han t ratio kan zero na t ratio here there are six t ratios in this chapter uh in trigonometry okay 
parukan oma chung chu sign ko stand le ko sik sik le kot an ni ta okay and there is a formula for all of these okay now the first one is sign sign is perpendicular by hypotenuse okay p by h in short oh cos is base by hypotenuse b by h in short tan is perpendicular by base now sine and cosec are reciprocals of each other oh sine e p by h and it's on cosec to h by p and if it's on cosec cos b by h and it's on cosec with hung to h by b and if it's on so the answer is on tan e p by b and it's on cot to b by p and it's on tan e now, I will explain it to you. Over here, I've written, Some people have curly brown hair turned permanent black. I'm not going to explain what that means. I think you all know it. Now, this is not actually mathematical, but this is just so that you can um, learn it by heart, okay? Some people have curly brown hair turned permanent black. Some people have curly brown hair People have ania PH people have oh curly brown hair atong yan C B H lale tala C B H turned permanent black T P B nile ta okay katatang han some people have curly brown hair turned permanent black tiang zong a invon thei so an ang lai lao invon thei ka zong very good but if you cannot just learn it by heart like that this is a very simple way to learn it by heart some people have curly brown hair turned permanent black and kosi ka zu hemi hemi opposite zia ka nile maya he he invon do zong a opposite zia ka zu vona ol lu tu okay these will be the formulas which we will be using for um, the rest of the chapter as well. So um, I want you all to understand this part. And um, if you take a look at the first exercise over here, you have to find kami find the value of all trigonometric ratios and tiomzatsu kami ratio paruk kan run soy kazon swaturanita. Okay. So for today, um, I just want you to learn the formula by heart. Okay. Uh, we will do we will start with the first exercise in um, the next video. Alright. All the best. Stay safe, stay healthy, and take good care. Okay. Bye bye.